Another day, another dollar. Hallelujah. What's it to ya? <laughs> Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so we're back in the truck. Another truck muck today. Got kicked in the dick once again. The dick kickings continue. They just rolling on through like a sine wave, rolling with the homies. That said, though, there are multiple silver linings. We're going to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it over lunch. Now, what is lunch, do you say? It's something that's been attempting me through the interweave web thing that we go on clicking and stuff arby's i've seen this poutine beef poutine sandwich so it's got like the beef and it's got like a curly fry poutine incorporated on like a hoagie roll and i think it comes with like a dip like a like a gravy dip and you know that i'm gonna blasphemize and or bastardize that bitch with some ketchup because i catch up my poutine okay so anyways i'll put it here maybe and that's what we want to eat today so we're heading over across town to arby's i got some stories i'm also going to get a nice little diet cherry coke or a diet Ch dr pep and a traditional gyro or gyro extra tzatziki something to that effect maybe some matzo sticks either way it's a day of got kicked in the dick but also it all worked out some mild celebrations that's what this meal is but i'm on route it's far i'll meet you in the drive through all right y'all we made it to the r bays we pulling up for the order let's see what happens here let's see what we end up getting Hey, can I get the uh, poutine dip sandwich? Is that the combo or just the sandwich? Yeah, so I'll do a combo, then I'll do matzo sticks. Um, just with the matzo sticks, can I just get uh, honey mustard and ranch, no marinara? Yeah, yeah I'll do the uh, traditional Greek uh, gyro. Okay. And uh, can I get a, a side of tzatziki sauce? There we go, so your total is 2156. Is that up? Thank you. Thank you. So we ended up with the combo. I'm not gonna lie, I was in my head, I was thinking matzo sticks. So that works out, that's good. We're going full sugar uh, cherry Coke on this one because when you're presented with cherry Coke here in Canuckland, it's a rarity. So you do it, you know? And we have a little bit of a, a minor celebration today. Uh, kicked in the dick and then redeemed itself. So we'll talk about it. But uh, we're going to need some ketchup and some horsey sauce as well. So we'll have to hound her at the window for that. But Arby's is usually, they're super good with uh, being saucy for you. Got here just in the nick of time. I look back at my rear view right now and the line is on atrocious mode. When I got here, it was one and done in front. And now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles behind me. Oh wee! Big old bag is secured. Let's get into this. Oh yeah, my babies. Arby's does it right. They're hooking up the sauces. They gave me mad ketchups. They got it with the ranch and the honey must. They got it with the horsey sauces. Arby's always hooking it up. We got napkins. We good on that. Got our matzo steezies right there. Maybe dip one of those in some gravy. <laughs> or even some tzatziki. Okay, first reveal. Mmm, smelling good. Let's give it to you. I have no idea what it looks like yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That's good looking. Mm. Look at that. Poutine goodness on a beefy roll. Hopefully you're seeing that. Wow. That's going to be good. We got to bless it with some ketchup. We're going to rip some bites. We're going to rip some eating. And then we'll get to some chats about things. But uh, for, for first sake, I definitely just want to crush some bites. All right. Up close and personnel for you. All right. Right in there. Perfect little like submarine box. And I love how they have this like little wrap on it. This little uh, diaper on it. That is amazing. It's going to make for a very, very pleasurable eating experience to make it nice and easy to consume but yo take a bite on that whoa that's gonna be crazy
Wow. If I wasn't choking. Wow, dude. Whoa. Wow, straight up, that's nuts. Holy shit. That's amazing. Wow. They're knocking the shit out of the park right now. Cheese curds are authentic, perfect, amazing. Shaved beef is so tender. Definitely gotta have the ketchup on it. There's a right amount of gravy. The bun is so soft. The curly fries add an amazing element to it. This thing is straight crushing. I have shit all over my face, probably. Who cares? When the food's this good, you don't even care extra ketchupy bite. <laughs> What an immaculate sandwich. I'll be honest with you. I knew it had potential. I knew it could be pretty good. Did I know it was going to be an absolute 10? Nope. Is it an absolute 10? Absolutely. If you can get your hands on that shit, you got to go try that. Canada, though. All right, get them while they're hot. Matzo sticks. Four sticks. Four sauces. First, gravy. No pull. So hot though. And delicious. Sauce two, tzatziki on a matzo stick. Inaugural, never have tried. That's amazing.
Tzatziki is just so good. Honey must. We'll pull on that one. Mm. Anything sweet and mustardy with cheese. Always delicious. Arby's is on crash mode right now. Straight up. And lastly, I almost don't even want to do it. Just kind of want more honey mustard, but ranch. Oh, a little fur off the hat there. All right. I see you, ranch. I see you pulling your weight. For sure. All right, we got the traditional Greek gyro, and that's why I got the tzatziki sauce side. While I munch down this, let's talk about my dick kicks and silver linings. And let's actually just address real quick. Starting like mid to late September, I went on like trying to lose weight kind of thing. And I was, and I'm still kind of like, I'm very much in the fasting and like kind of almost one meal a day type shit. But I will say in those few months, I did go from basically almost a size 40 pant. That's why I was like getting, I was like, I gotta do something here. Down to like, I'm a 34 now. So lost a few pant sizes, went down a shirt size. Feels great, feels real good. I do have to be careful right now though because I am slowly like finding myself getting back into some nibbles and bits here and there but today is definitely a celebration after a light dick kicking okay so that's what we're doing here today traditional Greek gyro extra extra sauce all right so let me tell y'all like this like I said I've been getting a couple things here and there happening right so i tell you guys the the story about my driver's license thing right the tooth all these things i go do that burger king video I did a couple of various errands and missions, go home, chilling. Next day, I walk out to go do some stuff, running around. My truck is sitting sideways all in the days. You know what I mean? Paul Wall in this bitch. My right front tire, flat as a fucking pancake. You gotta be kidding me. I just laughed. I just laughed. At a certain point, when shit gets so ridiculous in your life, you just start to laugh. You just go, oh, it's <laughs> another thing. So I'm just laughing. I'm looking, I'm thinking, okay, did I get slashed? Cause that's a known thing in my city. There's a lot of like, just sketchy druggy weirdos and people go around slashing tires. This is a stupid thing, but I survey the tire in the tread, a screw. A hazard of living in a uh, blue collar 
working man's town, lots of work trucks with all that type of shit falling out of it. So I spot the screw. Okay, I see the issue. Bummer. However, probably get it plugged, probably get it patched. Won't be too expensive. Not a new tire, no big deal. It's not on the sidewall. We good. Luckily enough, from dirt bike racing, uh, I've known this guy. He owns his own auto body shop, and it's like just down the road from my, my house. So I get on the horn with him. He goes, in the morning, I'll send my guy with a uh, portable air, uh, pressurized air canister, essentially. We'll pump it up, drive it over the shop. We'll take care of it. We'll get you figured out, we'll get you sorted. Kid, no big deal, don't have to pop anything off in the driveway, don't have to jack shit up. Just basically get it over there, cool. So that's dope. Get over there, he's a long time family friend. He's known me since I was like 12. He's in his 50s. And, uh, you know, we get situated and whatnot. They start working on it. And he goes, my service desk guy who runs the computer and does all the, you know, filling out the, uh, the order requests, answering phones, just service desk shit, you know, keeping keys organized and tagging keys and clerical and all that stuff he goes he up and quit on me like he gave me like a week's notice and then disappeared basically <laughs> he goes do you want a job and at this point i'm like sure yeah why not i'll take it so during that i uh got situated he just i don't you know it's good you don't have to do an interview He knows I'm savvy with computers and technology, which I am. I have good communication skills. I'm personable, outgoing, all that. So we just came to an agreement on a uh, on an hourly. So locked in a pretty decent hourly wage. Eight to five type shit, or eight to four thirty. No, eight to five. Monday to Friday. Um. You know, small, like, just like a little family shop, like, uh, two bays and then storage and then a lot. And, uh, like a good atmosphere, good vibe. He's a really nice guy. Successful guy too. So randomly through me getting a flat tire. Got a job without having to, you know, go through too many hoops and interviews and, you know, applications or anything like that. So it's just boom in. Starting the new year. So that would be good for me. You know, not my ideal thing, but I mean, uh, you know, it'll regulate my life, give me a routine, you know, fix my biorhythms and shit. Be making legitimate, legitimate money. Be out in the community, interact with people. But what I'm really most, um, two things. I'm gonna learn a lot about cars which as you get older and you start driving your own shit and things happen, you know, there's always going to be automotive issues with your vehicle at some point. To gain that knowledge from the uh, mechanics and technicians and all the things that he knows, because he's a certified, like, really good mechanic, but he went into bit ownership. So to learn a lot about uh, vehicles, that'll be cool, because that's a life skill to have in your pocket. Save you a lot of money in the long run if you have that knowledge. 
And also, he's a sole proprietor of a small business, which that is what I want my future to be. I want to be a sole, sole proprietor of my, my own small business. So whatever I can absorb from him, you know, ask questions about everything top to bottom, how things function, how things work, how, you know, all the processes, all the, all the legalities, all that shit. That'll be good to learn. So I'm going to run with it. I'm trying my best to absorb all the pertinent knowledge that I can to carry forward into my own ventures. And I'm going to save, I'm going to be so frugal. I'm going to save money like a bitch. And stack up for the dream. Also, the fact that it's like three, four blocks from me. I'll barely have to burn gas. So, like, hardly have to drive. And then once the weather gets nice, just walk. Or maybe bike or something. So, that's exercise plus frugality economics 101. So that's good. Things, uh, one shitty thing came and some good things came out of it. So that's great. This meal, start to finish, impeccable. <clears throat> the cherry Coke, slamming. We all know cherry Coke is just slamming, always. That poutine dip sandwich thing, 10 piece. Dimer all day. <clears throat> a palette for your palate, four dips, cheese sticks, matzo, crush mode, and that traditional gyro with extra sauce could not go wrong, you know? So, <laughs> victorious meal, victorious day. Oh, and on top of that, when I went to go pick up my truck, the tire, he didn't charge me. Free 99. So, 21 bucks for this meal. That's a steal considering I don't even know what that, what it should have cost me for that tired work. But he gave it to me on the house as like a friend. And also, I think I'm kind of doing him a favor by you know, jumping in and stepping into a role that this guy ditched him. And also he's like, I don't have to interview people. I don't have to go through hiring process. And I know you and you know, so hooked it up, spent probably what I was going to spend on that or half of what I was going to spend on that on this meal. Now 21 bucks for what I just ate. It's justified. Pop, monster sticks, two big old sandwiches. of high quality, I think it's good. So, a little light shining down on me. It's not the dream yet, but we take steps in order to get there, right? Patience is a virtue, they say. All right, amazing. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.